guys welcome back to my youtube channel first of all i want to address why i didn't upload anything last week i know from my previous video i said that i will be uploading something interesting basically three days after i uploaded that video there was a halloween party and i was planning on filming a get ready with me but i got so lost into getting ready that i didn't i mean i knew that i was going to film i didn't forget about it it's just that i just feel like i would lose time if i talk to the camera i don't even know what i was going to talk about in the video anyways i just woke up an hour ago now i'm just going to do my skincare i don't know if i'm actually going to do my makeup because I think my my face needs a little break. I'm using niacinamide from the ordinary CeraVe salicylic acid cream and sunscreen. Oh, I didn't tell you what I'm going to be doing today. You can probably tell from the title, but today I'm planning on going to the charity shop. That's about it, really. I'm going to show you the whole complete outfit later. Okay, so this is the full outfit. Cardigan, the dress, tights, and my black and yellow boots. And obviously I'm going to be wearing a coat on top of it because it's quite cold outside. I don't know which tote bag I should bring because the only reason why I'm going to the charity shop is to find some records so yeah i could go to the record shop the one that i frequently go to but it's quite far it's kind of out of town so i found the perfect tote bag for my vinyl records this amazing tote bag with amazing artwork is from the instagram my artwork for you but i'm also selling it on depop which I forgot my username. I think it's at Yuya Bonko, I'm not sure. To all my vinyl girlies out there, this is the perfect tote bag for you because it actually fits, I'm surprised. I'm just going to fold it in and put it in my purse because I don't have much to bring at all and I feel like this tote bag is a little bit too much. My black lip purse. Good. I'm going to be putting my keys and my phone in my coat pocket in a row, so this is good, good, good. Just going to use the loo and we're set off to town to buy some records. Okay, what the heck? That was weird. This cardigan looks goofy. <laughs> the colour doesn't match at all.
I'm so tired. This bag is really heavy. I know I said that I was just going to buy records, but obviously that's not always the case. Obviously, what did you expect? Come on, for me especially, what did you expect? So when I walked in the shop, it was surprisingly busy. And they kind of changed some of the layout of the place. So where the records used to be isn't there anymore so i had to like look around but weirdly the first place i went to was the book section because that's the only place that hasn't changed at all and the first thing i saw was this one and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry i have to get it i was like okay i'm gonna buy just one book and i'm gonna buy at least like what three or four records because a lot of the older ones um usually they reduce it so sometimes they're like three pounds but they reduce it to a pound 50 or even even lower than that sometimes they've got like 50 pence it's insane so i was like okay i'm gonna go buy one book and then when i looked around for the records section and someone was doing like there's a staff there they were trying to like rearranging things and i didn't want to be bothered so i was kind of like waiting oh i wasn't waiting okay that was kind of weird like she's doing stuff and i'm like standing there no i did not do that i just walked around the room and just kind of browsed around i wasn't really interested i wasn't really looking for clothes but i did find some interesting vintage stuff but i was like no i'm not really interested that's not what i'm looking for and eventually it led me back to the book section i honestly convinced myself that i wouldn't be buying i wouldn't be finding anything but guess what the talented mr ripley it's one of my favorite 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 movies so this cost me four pounds and my budget for this charity shop was basically five pounds but okay it's not focusing seven pound fifty I went past the limit by £2.50. I mean, like, if you think about it, it's not that bad. But, you know, if you're trying to save money, I guess it's kind of bad. But the reason why I wanted to buy records in charity shops instead of a record shop, because if I go to the record shop, I would obviously be looking for artists that I like, songs that I know, and that would obviously cost me more. The charity shops, you know, it would help me broaden my music genre, I guess. But, mm. so my first record is a Christmas record. The 12 Songs of Christmas by Jim Reeves. And, Weirdly, when I was going through records, they have a lot of Dream Reeves. So there's that, this one. Okay, now, <laughs> you guys are going to be upset by this second record, but... <gasps> I know! I know I have two records of Glenn Miller already, but guess what? I have more than five records. Oh, that was supposedly. Nobody's complaining. It also has... The Moonlight Serenade, but it's only an opening theme. It lasts for like 10 seconds. It's pissing me off. And now I'm hoping, I'm hoping, let's check. It's Moonlight Serenade. Oh, perfect! See, it's like the actual length of the song. On the other one, it's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like half. It's half of the freaking song. And it's, why? That's so stupid. That's one of the reasons why I bought it because it's one of my favorite songs and it lasts for about 10 seconds. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the rest of the songs as well. But you can probably tell I also went to the museum again. It's the same exhibition still from the last time I went. So if you want to watch what's. I mean, I kind of filmed a bit, but if you want to watch a longer version of that, I'm going to link it up here. For you guys to watch if you guys want to watch it. But I have some tea to tell you. As I was walking up to the museum, you know, I had my head down and the doors were kind of close, so I was 
going to open the door and suddenly <laughs> suddenly a very cute looking guy opened the door for me and i was so shocked by that but that's not one of the reasons why i was like it's kind of cute because it is cute not because of the gesture the gesture was just a bonus so when he opened the door i was like shocked because oh you didn't have to do that and then i looked at his face and his cute little smile and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was thinking like, as soon as I leave the museum, he'd be like, hey, can I have the number? <laughs> Obviously he didn't do that because he was entertaining other visitors. But he's really cute. And you're probably wondering, you know, you know you don't need to wait for a guy to ask for your number. I know that, but... He's a staff and he's working. And personally, I don't like asking people for, for the numbers if they're working because I feel like it's a situation where they can't escape. Let me know what you guys think. Like, if you find a staff cute, would you ask them in their workplace? I don't think it's, I don't think it's appropriate. I bought myself some Tesco meal deal. I'm probably going to play Glenn Miller again. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit.